Greetings everyone, this is your boy, Bobby. 1984 coming to you some of that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. But this time we're playing a, a not so quick match of domination on a, what is this place, a Sanctuary. I'm running with a couple of my folks, I got a lucky girl with me, what's going on baby girl? I got a high speed B, aka Greg, call him by his uh, government name. But uh, we just uh, hopped in this match and um, switching things up, man. I'm actually, let me see, what's the perks and the point streak I'm using? The perks, I think I'm using, it looked like I'm using sleight of hand. I'm not 100% sure. I never, I should start writing these things down. But I'm using sleight of hand. I think uh, my favorite hard line or hard line pro. And the new feature or the new perk that I'm really enjoying right now is Stalker. And I think this is Stalker Pro. You know? I just switched up a little bit with that. You know, it's, oh man, you gotta love when the nasty music come on. But uh, Stalker makes, it's, you know, it's just a different vibe for me, you know. I love my dead silence, but gotta run with Stalker here and there. And let's see. Oh, give me the three piece leg and thigh. Let's go. I'm um, using, let me see, you already seen the Predator missile. We got the helicopter and the AC-130. And the reason I'm not bringing out my old faithful Pavlo is I be getting a lot of criticism from my number one hater sometimes, which is my old lady. She's been watching some of the videos and she tells me that I always call the Pavlo in and I always let the Pavlo do all the work and I don't do much of it. She said, why don't you use a different kill streak? She said, without the Pavlo, what are you? And I'm like, okay. I'm young, I'm black, I'm handsome, and I'm the leader of the Scrub Nation. If that's not enough, I don't know what it is. But I said, okay, I'll switch it up. So, got the AC-130. So, <laughs> I can't use this bad boy for nothing, but hey, it is what it is. But, today's topic, let me see, since we got a semi-long match, I want, I want to talk about, uh, let me see, a couple weeks back, I said I was going to talk about, um, I told my Twitter folks I was going to do a topic uh, called uh, Reasons I Hate Modern Warfare 3, but I thought about it and I was like, you know what, I can't say I hate Modern Warfare 3 because obviously I don't because I keep coming back and playing this game. So it must not be hate, but something wrong. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to talk about the reasons why I rage quit because I've noticed I've rage quit a lot, especially in Modern Warfare 3. I never rage quit in Black Ops or Call of Duty 4, or not even that sorry war that war. But in Modern Warfare 3, I rage quit a lot. I mean, every night me and my boys get on, and it's almost like we hold a bet to see who's gonna rage quit first, because we do it sometimes. And for me, I, I, it's just things just don't go right sometimes, you know? And I just, you know, you just you get so frustrated. I remember when I was younger, when I used to play uh, my Sega Genesis, you know how your cartilage was always at the top, it was an exposed, even with the Super Nintendo, the same way. And I used to get so mad, I used to throw my more control at the Sega Genesis when I was playing some old football game, I can't remember what it was. And I used to get mad when I lost, and I used to throw the controller at the, at the console and it always would hit the, uh, the top of the game and I always just thought I was gonna break it. And, it, it, and that's how I get now when I'm playing my Xbox, but thing is I can't get that mad and throw the controller at the TV because I'm gonna mess up my 54 inch Panasonic so I can't do that and I don't want to mess up my Xbox because I play my Xbox so I just I just I just press that middle button so hard and as soon as it say turn off console I just get out of there and I just storm off but here's some of the reasons why I do this reason number one is I just hate that when I get kills or when I kill someone they respawn somewhere near me in the area that gives them the advantage. And a lot of, and this happens to me a lot. And the reason I know this is because I watch a ton of my replays. And it's always the guy that I just kicked. They show him dying. And they show him spawning in that great area to kill me. And it and it just works me. It it it, it gets me every time I get so mad. It always seems to happen right as I'm about to get a kill streak or something. So that's the First reason why I get mad is, is, is just the, the location of the spawn for the for the opposition or the person you just killed. It always works out for me like that. What's the second reason? Wow, how did I not get that kill? Things like that make me want to rage quit too. I know I, I know my accuracy is not on point, but I was I was lighting him up. Second reason why I rage quit is, and this one is on me. 
it, it's when I'm playing like complete trash. It's when my when my accuracy's not on point. You know, I'm just shooting. I'm, I'm just spraying and praying. I'm I'm running and gunning because sometimes I just you know I just expect to just destroy everybody and I think I'm gonna just take out the whole team and I just run and gun and I get frustrated when I can't wipe out two or three or maybe the whole team and and that's a me thing that's that's a me problem you know so it's not the game that's just me thinking I'm better than what I what I am you know so I can I can take that but sometimes you just have those nights when you just get so mad you know the hit detection is not working it's just it's just those things and it just makes me so angry that. I, I just got to get out of there, you know, but a lot of that again is me. It's my accuracy. It's just me not being patient, not playing smart, and that happens to me. Boy, that almost messed things up. I, I I hate the EMP sometimes, man. I understand you have to blind both of us, but it seems like the teammates, especially Killer Chris, my boy Chris, seems to always call that at the at the most inopportune time for me. And now let me see. My third reason for me to rage quit, and, and I know everyone has to have this happen to me, and it happens to me a lot. We have that perfect storm of, of, of just a bad respawn, campers on the other team. Let me see, lag compensation, sorry teammates, et cetera, et cetera. It's just when all of that just comes together and nothing seems to go right for you, you know? That, that for me happens far too often. Come on, let me get that two-piece leg and thigh. Let me get that two-piece leg and thigh. Mm, let's get the helicopter in there. But it's always things like this. So I would get the helicopter or whatever, and I'd be on my way to do things, and something always seems to go wrong. But that's that third and final reason why. You know, or if I do something stupid like this, where I, I run past a guy that's right there. How did I not see him? You know, I run right past him. And to and be honest with you, I should have I should have slapped him in his face, hit that corner, and I should have just demolished those other guys trying to take A. But I didn't. I messed it up. But those three reasons right there are... Pretty much more often than not, or not, the times why I rage quit. And as you can see, some of it is my fault, you know, but me just playing like a complete scrub, because I mean, I'm the leader of Scrub Nation, so sometimes I have to play like a scrub. And then just that perfect storm and everything going wrong. And, and the thing is, there wasn't a perfect storm of things going wrong in Black Ops. You know, in Black Ops, you, you can have the lag, you know, or you can have maybe one or, or two, maybe with the campers. But you, you, you got over that. A lot of times I just got mad because of final stand, you know, or last stand, final stand, whatever that perk was. Because sometimes I would shoot the person, I would stop shooting, think they were done, and then they'd still be alive and they'd just be shooting and kill me. So a lot of times that irked me, but, you know, it wasn't enough to make me rage quit. Whereas here, it's just all these negative things just, just piling up. And, and I know you guys go through this stuff too. I know you do. So, you know, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Don't lie to me and don't lie to yourself. You know these type of things happen, but I, I, I see a lot of games because I watch other commentators too, and I see these guys, be, they get in these lobbies, and, and granted, they are good, but they get in these lobbies with people, and I just go, wow. These people are not camping. They're running around. They, they getting murdered by the commentator, and, and, and it looks fun, and I don't seem to have those games that often, you know? But before I get out of here, let me, spend a, let me send a special shout out to my homeboy, Mike Sauce, that followed me on Twitter, man, for hooking me up a couple of weeks ago with that free link to watch the uh, Mayweather Cotto fight because I didn't want to pay for it. So shout out to you, Mike Sauce. But uh, me, High Speed B, and the Lucky Girl, we came, we saw, and we conquered. If you like this gameplay, subscribe to IGN, click the like button, but we gone.